This is Grindfest Outdoors, St. Paul, Minnesota. This video is an installation video to uh, help show you exactly how to upgrade your Predator 212 or 224 engine uh, from a, up to a stage one. So we're gonna do an air intake, we're gonna do a rejet, and I've got a custom exhaust going on. The exhaust in this video is Beaver Dam Mud Runners Custom Exhaust. You can find it on his website for about 50 bucks. What this uh, stage one does is it essentially will take your six horsepower, six and a half horsepower Predator engine. It'll bump it up to a nine. It costs about $100, 100% worth it in my opinion. Um, I've got some other videos out there that show the performance changes. I got a couple of videos that'll help you select your prop. Thanks for watching. The kit I got off Amazon came with a spark plug, a new tube that'll go between the valve cover and the breather here. And it came with a performance emulsion tube, a 0 0.036 and a 0 0.037 jet. So this is what came with the air filter kit. You get a hose clamp, the upgraded air filter, air filter adapter. This little lever is gonna hold our choke keep that from wobbling around. It has a nice rubber gasket. I'm gonna put this on even though the engine's brand new. I would recommend putting a new um, gasket on if you're gonna be doing this work. And it's got two bolts that you can use uh, in some circumstances you might need these extended bolts to uh, do this kit. But right now the one on the 224 is plenty long. So we're gonna use those. We're going to start by removing the two 13 millimeter nuts and the washer and the lock washers that attach the original exhaust to the engine. Now this is a brand new 224 and it didn't really even have the exhaust on all that tight. So I'm going to use the original uh, gasket, but if you're upgrading, you might want to consider replacing your exhaust gasket. gasket. Something important to note is that the new 224, the spaces on the bolts for the exhaust are wider than on the 212. So I had to extend out, I had to dremel that out a bit so I talked to Beaver Dam, and they are aware of this issue, and I believe that they're going to start modifying this so it fits the, um, the 224 without needing to do any fabrication. So we're just going to mount the exhaust on and follow it with a lock washer and a 13 millimeter nut. So if you don't have a U-joint or a wobble socket, you are going to need to use a box end wrench. Just don't want them coming out and you just want the gasket to seal well. So this 224 is a little bit different. Uh, the vent here coming off of the gas, it comes all the way down here and it runs into this joint, this box here, and then another uh, hose comes off of there and then runs from, from this box into the, uh, the air box. And so with the 212, you're gonna have a hose that runs straight from this vent directly into your air box. And then we have the, the vent from the valve cover going into the air box too. Remove the hose clamp and the hose that vents from the air box to the gas tank or in the 224, it's gonna vent down to the box below and then up to the gas tank. And we're gonna remove the hose that vents from the air box, between the air box and the valve cover. Remove the two 10 millimeter nuts that hold the whole air box onto the carburetor. Your fuel shut off 
and your choke, move them this way so you can pull the whole air box off. Find a thinner flathead screwdriver so you can get up and unscrew the jet. This is a 532nd if it matters to you, but really all you need is to be able to find the groove in the jet. And when you take it out, the emulsion tube may or may not drop. So here's the jet, set that aside. And if you can see there is, an, the emulsion tube is sticking out. So we're just gonna tap it down, it comes out. Now you don't have to replace the emulsion tube, but a lot of the uh, kits online come with a performance one. So I removed the spark plug wire. On the Hemi version of the 212, the hose runs to the exterior of this valve cover. And so they supply this new hose, but you don't even have to use it with that one. And so with this particular model, the 224, uh, the hose runs directly in. I'm not going to need it anyway. I'm going to put my breather filter on top and the hose clamp over. Then I'm going to clamp it down. Plug my spark plug back in. Remove your old gasket and replace it with the new one. So this is my air filter adapter. The flange part of it is gonna go on like this. And I got the bracket that holds down the choke lever here. And this particular model came with a hex head. So I'm gonna use a hex key. This is a three millimeter that came on mine. There is a right and a wrong way to put on this bracket. You want it to go in this direction. We're gonna slide that sucker on. And if you look here, that comes down over the top. And then you secure it from the back and just tighten it down to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. We're gonna reuse our 10 millimeter bolts that we took off earlier. Put our air filter on. You can make it go out this way or this way. I like to have mine facing kind of straight here. And then you're just gonna tighten your hose clamp. Make sure that it's got a good seal around the bracket here and that your hose clamp's in the right spot. When you put the float ball back on, make sure that there is a good seal. There's a little rubber O-ring inside that you don't want to mess up. There we go. There you have it, stage one complete. You can put a little vent uh, filter on this if you want to. You can buy them online uh, on the 212. It's gonna come and it's gonna stop right there. You could cut it all the way back and put a little, the little filter right there on this 224. Um, I would put it here. But you gained yourself about 30% horsepower. So there you go, completed stage one. Gained yourself about 30% horsepower you can add a filter if you want to for this uh, fuel tank breather on the 212 your hose will come out and it's going to stop it right there 224 it'll come out of this box and you can put it right there but i don't have it on mine i don't think you really need it but you can if you want to
So there's the complete stage one, 212, 224 Predator upgrade. This is a Beaver Dam Mud Runner 65 inch shaft. You gain yourself about 30% in horsepower and torque. So this should be putting out about nine. The 212 and the 224 should be putting about nine horsepower out now. I'll do another video uh, speed testing my, my Predator 212 with this upgrade kit. So tune in and uh, that'll be my next video. If you didn't catch the last one, just go back in my videos. Uh, I had speed tested my last one and help with prop selection.